Hello there YouTube, CJ's here again with another tutorial on the Cleric. Now this time I'm doing a defiler build because somebody had asked. Now there's many different defiler builds. There's ones that do damage and there's ones that do healing and there's ones that do both. Now this one's one of those ones that does both of them but it focuses more on healing. So healing then damage, not damage then healing. So um, we'll jump right into it. Um, kind of confusing but once you get it down it's it's pretty cool okay so soul tree I'll let you get this we're gonna do the 61 defiler for the final ability and the 61 talent pain transmission because that's gonna be important later on um, 11 warden just for healing and absorptions because that's what the defiler does obviously you got geyser that's gonna help heal while you're doing damage and then uh, some crits to help you out and then tidal surge which is going to be in a hot macro. Uh, and then just the next four points isn't going to be in Sentinel to increase some spell power for a little more healing and also the endurance buff because you're going to need that because you're going to be taking damage. Go ahead and get the spec and then I'll continue. Alright, now that you've gotten the spec, we'll jump into macros. It's going to be a fun one. I'll be nice. I'm going to post it in the description for you so you can just copy paste, save your time. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so first we're going to have uh, one important thing that clerics do, or the defiler does, is they put bonds on the, uh, the target, which is going to make them take damage. Uh, you're going to intercept damage. You're going to get healing from them, all kinds of things. So first one is going to be Siphon of Pain which is going to deal damage uh, every time that you do damage to them. So, um, then bond, and then yeah. So, there's that macro, and then they'll go to the heal macro. Um, this one just does, it's like a spot heal, sort of heal. It doesn't do much. It's probably a thousand heals per second. That's about it. It's nothing huge. Uh, just a res macro, just so you can let people know that you've res somebody. Um, and call it out. Now, another important part is links. Um, this is mostly up to you, but if you have health and you're doing raids like FT and EE, um, it just kind of depends on the fight. So for most fights, um, since you're helping intercept damage from the tank, um, there's one here that does the 20% damage, and you're receiving 30% of damage that you intercept. So basically that one's going to do the most intercepting and the most helpful and then you have another one that it'll intercept 5% and you'll take 85% of the 5% that you've intercepted um, not too helpful but just again it depends on the fight and then 30% and 19% and then a 10% of 59% um, we'll just stay with Link for Link of Suffering just so you can learn it and then you can play around with that a little later so that's that macro um, your DPS macro that you're going to spam. Then again, remember, this isn't a DPS heavy defiler build, so you're not doing more than 3k. That's the most I've peaked at. Um, it's going to do Tidal Surge, which is going to help heal while you do damage, and then Marrow Harvest, which is a dot. Uh, Paints Transmission, um, I'll go into depth with that one. Um, it's going to deal damage up to three enemies near it, so it's sort of like an AoE. And every time you do a little bit of damage with these bonds you're gonna be healing people around you and then geyser uh, does damage and heals ten people around the target um, that's it for that macro now onto the dispel one this one's just the the typical set of clicking somebody dispel you just don't even have to click them you just spam the key and um, that's it it'll dispel them um, as far as macros go I'm sure, yeah, that's it for the uh, macros. Now, rotation, um, there's not really a set rotation. That's kind of the part that people get confused on here is you got your bond of pain macro, and then just put all your, your three bonds on, and then unholy nexus, which is going to make those three bonds spread to everything around it. It's kind of like a disease. Um... Foul growth, or explosion growth, my bad. Uh, it's going to apply three stacks of foul growth, which is a healing. Um, put it on here. It puts on a miscellaneous. It, it's going to increase your maximum health. 
uh, you're going to absorb some, and after 10 seconds, you're going to be healing yourself or whoever you put it on. Um, as far as you want to keep the bonds on at all times because that's going to be doing your damage and a lot of your intercepting. Um, feedback, that's just like an AoE heal, and it triggers foul growth on the people that it heals, which is pretty nice. Uh, it can stack up to three times, so spam it three times. You're going to be doing quite a bit of healing. Uh, have your DPS one, your macro hotkeyed, because you're going to be spamming that whenever you have downtime. For example, we're going to put the we'll put the links on here, and I'll show you. And then your unholy nexus, all the targets around it are now receiving those. Um, yeah. And then on to the next one you want is you don't really have to have it hotkeyed. I just do for some odd reason, you're going to link yourself to the tank most of the time or the other defiler that's in the group. Um, so you're going to be intercepting damage that he is taking. So then again, the link of suffering is the one I use. So I'm intercepting 20% of the damage that he's getting, and I'm taking 30% of the 20%. Um, so it's not too much to worry about. And then your uh, have your heal, your uh, heal macro on hotkey because that's going to be pretty important. And uh, that's all for that. You can really kind of play around with the rotation. Just make sure you have the bonds up and uh, the link. As far as uh, buffs go, um, Feast of the Fallen, which is going to... Uh, I'll show you here. It's going to... Any kills, like let's say you're in the middle of a fight and you kill an ad that's down, you're going to be healing people because that ad died. Um, Grief Blight, that's uh, when you're damaged, it... It's going to make you 4% healing powerful, and it stacks up to 5 times, so you're getting a 20% healing bonus, uh, which is pretty helpful. Or, instead of using Grief Blight, if you're doing damage for some reason, which isn't the, really the spec for it, you can use Rage Blight, and every time you're damaged, instead of healing increase, you're going to be doing a damage increase. And then, again, in the Sentinel Tree, you got this Endurance buff, uh, which is important because you're going to be taking a lot of damage in this, well not a lot, but you're going to be taking damage in the Defiler build. Another thing that's important, have your summon beacon down because this pet, uh, when you're taking damage, he's going to help you out and take a little damage for you. Kind of ugly looking thing, but he's your friend. Now, um, let's say like in a Peary build, when the tank's taking a lot of damage, you normally will throw your healers coming on him and he takes 40% less damage. Well, in this spec, you have one of those, but it kind of does this goofy little thing here. Um, and it transforms him. And he'll take less damage, and every time he's hit, he's going to restore some health, which is pretty helpful. But as far as that goes, guys, that's about the whole spec. It's not as confusing as it seems when you're building your own, but um, if you have any questions, feel free to put in the comment box or go in game on Wolfsbane. Uh, you can message me, uh, CJS is a tune, Just send me an in-game mail, and if I'm online, you can talk to me, that's fine. Um, if you need any other videos or tutorials on any other spec, go ahead and feel free to put it in the comment box, and that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.